So the first layer of this is our free PayPal for WooCommerce plugin. And this just in general will add some PayPal payment gateways to WooCommerce. So it'll add a couple of PayPal Pro versions here, and then it has PayPal Express Checkout, as well as a couple of old uh, PayPal Advanced and REST credit cards. Those aren't being approved for new people, but if people have it already, they can still use it. But in general, PayPal Express Checkout is what adds PayPal buttons to your product page. It's pretty standard. This plugin has quite a bit more features than other PayPal plugins. But again, it's just free, and this is kind of the first step of the whole process here. So then we have another plugin that's an add-on to that. It's a paid add-on to the free plugin that will allow you to set up multiple PayPal accounts on a single site. And we call it the multi-account manager. So we'll activate this one. And then when we go back into WooCommerce settings, we have a new tab here for PayPal multi-account setup. And this is what our mutual client, they, they're using your Events Pro, and then they wanted to use our multi-account plugin here so that they could pay organizers specifically. Um, but here you can see that with the multi-account you can set up multiple accounts, and when you, when you create an account you set up a rule that will trigger payment to that account. So for example, if we set one up here, um, let's just call it Vendor B, um, and vendor B at domain.com might be their PayPal email. And so what I would like to do for this example is any order that has the product um, web hosting. We'll go with product web hosting. And then we'll just save this. And what this will do is any express checkout payment that happens on the site that has the web hosting product it will be paid to the vendor B account. And we can again see that here, it's set up with web hosting. So web hosting gets paid to vendor B. So the next step is to get events manager in the mix. Our client is using events manager. So here on our demo site, we'll go ahead and activate that. And you can see that we've just got some basic test organizers set up here got demo and organizer 2 and then we've got some test events set up here as well but what we learned at this point was that your events our, our plugin wasn't picking those up because um, they're we're just looking at the products custom post type so if we go back here and we want to create a new rule specific to an event well it's not showing up in any way um, we're not getting events or organizers or anything like that. So we worked with you guys. Uh, we went back and forth a couple times and you gave us the info we needed. And we went ahead and built an extension, another extension. So now we'll activate this one. And this will add support for Mage People events in the multi-account manager plugin. So now if we go back into settings, and we go back to multi-account. Now when we go down here, we'll see, okay, categories also includes class locations, class types, event category, event organizer, and products also include events. So this time, if we wanna go ahead and, like what our client was doing was setting up payments to go directly to organizers. So organizer at domain.com, and then we'll go down here and we'll choose from category, we'll say, uh, uh, well, in this example, we'll just use that organizer two, I think I had set up. Where is it at? There it is, organizer two. And so now any order that comes through that has a product that belongs to organizer two will get paid to that specific PayPal account. So that's the way it all ties together and our client's very happy with it at this point, hoping maybe we can partner on this and help each other out more.